good, what's good, what's good, everybody? Welcome, welcome back to the channel, man. What I'm gonna talk about today, and I wanna talk real quick. I got this four-cylinder PT Cruiser. Ah, y'all know I love PT Cruiser. In fact, they call me JT Cruiser. So look, real quick, man, this car is in, it's actually in from another shop. And what that other shop did was, they was chasing a misfire. Um, misfire and cylinder four. They replaced everything. You know, secondary ignition on these pretty easy to do. Uh, you got the core right on top of the valve cover. You got the plug wires right there and uh, of course the plug. So they have replaced all of that and still have a misfire. Well, in fact, what they didn't do is something they should have did during the tune-up, I think. I think if you got all your plugs out and you're doing a tune-up, you should be doing this. This is a compression test. A compression test will tell pretty much the condition of your engine. I mean, it's that's very much needed. You will be able to find or tell which cylinder it's bad. You pretty much know which cylinder in question because a fault code to get that away. A P0304, basically cylinder four misfire. But to narrow it all the way down, seeing that you don't replace the plugs, the wires, and the core, so you eliminate a secondary ignition, it's time for a compression test. I'm sorry, that's that's basically what it is. Now, on this particular car, because I've done a bunch of them, what I project you're gonna find is a burnt exhaust valve. But it doesn't matter. At any rate, the cylinder head will have to come off. It doesn't matter. If that compression is low on cylinder four, the cylinder head will have to come off. Now, there's a five good reasons I know offhand that would cause compression to be low. And you may not have to take the cylinder head off. Uh, one could be a lifter. A lifter could be so far collapsed, it's not pumped up at all. But she's been driving this car, so I'm gonna eliminate that out of the equation. So I assume the lifters are pumped up, but she have low compression in cylinder four. If you find low compression, uh, anything under under a hundred, under a hundred psi, basically you should. This car, I think, specs is between a good, nice, healthy engine, 145 and 160 psi. No more than 10% variation between the cylinders. So you can't have 140 on one cylinder and a. Uh, 80 on another cylinder you got problems but at any rate the cylinder here got to come off so um i'm gonna do a video on a compression test on the four cylinder engine uh soon but i just want to put that out there you will have to take the cylinder head off if you have low compression because there's no way around it and again what i suspect you're gonna find is burnt exhaust valve can you do this yourself sure you can basically if you can get the cylinder head off at home yourself you can do a valve job because your only limitation will be if the seats inside of the valve are worn. You're not, you don't, you're not a machinist. You don't have that kind of equipment. So if the seats are damaged, then yeah, you have to send it here to a machine shop. But if you merely replace an exhaust valve, you can do that yourself. And that's doable and that will be a successful repair. But which begs the question, how did exhaust valve burn in the first place? It was designed to withstand the heat in the exhaust system so how did it get burned in the first place now my theory is and you get me off track but my theory is that valve stem seal is leaking oil once a drop of oil hit that valve you're going to eventually burn out that valve so simply replacing the valve you know you get it in lap it in real good make sure you got a good seat simply doing that and replacing the valve to me is not a successful repair you're going to really need to Check your valve guides for once. Make sure they're not loose. And two, put a new seal on there. Putting new valves with using the old seals is not smart because again, I suspect that exhaust valve in the first place is leaking oil and oil is dropping on the exhaust valve causing that valve to burn because that valve was built to withstand all the high temperature inside the exhaust system anyway. And we replacing it with the same kind of valve. That valve wasn't redesigned, it's the same valve. So simply replacing it is not a smart thing to do. So if you're gonna do it yourself, also replace the valve guys. Now I don't wanna get too far off hand. I wanted this video to be quick, but the moral of the story of you got a misfire and you have replaced everything secondary, it's time to do a compression test and uh, narrow your cause down to where it may lead you to. Because if it's low, man, you're gonna pretty much uh, need to uh, uh, pull the cylinder head right. now. That's all, I wanted this to be quick, man. So. Get a compression test, easy man. You just pull the intake off. Once you got this off, it's your world. That's why I say it should be done during a tune-up. 
But I ain't gonna get in that. I got a whole nother video on that. So get it checked out, man, and uh, go where it may lead you. It may take you to no man's land, may take you to needing a head, may take you needing a valve job. Who knows? You won't know until you get it out. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, man. I'll see you on the next video.